Uh, Jayesh uh, Kilnani is standing by with a roundup of the big stocks of the year, the heavyweights that move for starters, uh, the leaders and the laggards on the Nifty Jayesh. Morning, Ida. So, you know, uh, the, while the Nifty has gained about 28%, what it has done is all the Nifty 50 companies, they have uh, in total added 17 lakh crores to their market cap for the entire year. Now, if you look at the individual uh, names, that is, so you have Bajaj Finance, which has, uh, which is the only stock in the Nifty which has doubled. And mind you, this has been a year for the commodity. So, uh, you know, no surprises with Tata Steel and Hindalco featuring in this list with a gain of about 77 and 87 percent respectively india bulls you know you'll find this across uh, market caps uh, this is the nifty company india bulls housing that has done really well uh, for itself uh, up about 85 86 percent for the year maruti suzuki hit the 10000 mark in this year and that too has seen a gain of about 81 percent what has not done really well uh, uh, you know in the nifty um, is some of the pharma names so you have lupin which has declined about 40 percent and dr reddy is down 20 percent and sun pharma you know right now it's showing about a downtick of about 9.4 percent but last couple of years we've seen a good six eight percent rally come about for sun pharma otherwise that would have been higher up on the list coal india and tata motors the other two names that are there 11 percent and 12 percent shaved off uh, from uh, you know both of those counters as far as the mid cap index is concerned that has actually outperformed uh, the nifty and if you look at the individual names uh, you know you have uh, multi baggers over there so avenue supermarkets probably uh, you know the ipo of the year that has given you returns of uh, as much as 284 percent since listing now india bulls real estate uh, once again you know all the india group uh, india bulls group companies you will find them in this list uh, it, it has surged more than 200 percent and Bakrangi also has surged more than 200 percent with the other two names being jspl and escorts that have you know just risen uh, about 160 to 190 percent each now as far as losers are concerned so this is a common theme that you know you can see across across market caps once again few of the pharma names featuring over here Strides Shashun and Ajanda Pharma along with Fortis Healthcare. Those have been the top losers for uh, the mid-cap index and Crystal and IDBI Bank have lost about 15 to 13% each. Now, moving on to the small cap uh, index, if you see, once again, you know, India Bulls Ventures, what a rally that has had for itself in 2017, up more than 1100%. And, you know, Rain Industries, uh, we have spoken about that as well, uh, being one of the multi-baggers for the year. That has seen a gain of about 560%. Avanti Feeds, uh, you know, 400% gains for that one as well. Dilip Bilcon uh, and Bombay Burma, the other two companies that we are referring to. But, you know, we extended this list to mutual funds as well because we have been concentrating on that. Now, if you look at uh, various mutual funds, how their assets have changed, so, you know, few of the names featuring over there. So this is the uh, total assets, how they have grown for individual schemes. So uh, HDFC has two schemes and ICICI has two schemes in this list. And you have, uh, you know, SBI Magnum. What they have done is about 9,000 to 21,000 crore in asset growth that they have uh, had. But, you know, focus on this, these three names. So balance fund, balance fund and balance fund. Probably some cues coming in going into 2018 and uh, you know on the mutual fund show we have had a lot of guests who have spoken about balance funds being the future for investments as far as the individual uh, you know performers are concerned we've had um, uh, idfc sterling uh, which has gained almost 62 percent and dsp blackrock tiger that has seen a gain of about 48 percent and so has uh, mirai asset blue chip and the other two names we have sbi magnum and Reliance Regular Savings, 45% gains coming in. But the key takeaway is the balance fund category, which is seeing some kind of traction going into 2018.